Tell me the weirdest thing that someone has said to you at the gym. Oh, at the gym? Yeah, I haven't been there in many years. <laughs> but this is gym related. As you know, I review lunchboxes. It's something I enjoy doing in my free time. And I must say, I think you enjoy them too. We just hit a million followers. But one of the funniest trolls I've ever encountered on this app, he said something that made me laugh so hard. He said, you should rate a gym. Now that is what I call solid trolling. <laughs> Zero out of 10. <laughs> then we're going to put meat. If you want, you don't have to have meat. Uh, what, uh, uh, yes, you do. <laughs> the metal will conduct the heat away from the food and cool it off fast. Yeah, but then the metal's hot, and how are you going to eat it? You're going to burn your hand. Come on, man, you'd use a napkin or a paper towel. Use your brain. Well, it looks like you've got this whole thing figured out, Gregory. Congratulations. Not all of us are... Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Jake got so mad, he threw all the leaven, herbs, and spices at that guy. And now that he's covered in the original recipe from KFC, he's finger-licking good. Fat man recipes. Let's do it. We start with crescent rolls and Reese's mini peanut butter cups. But that's not all. We've got a trick up our sleeve. Bacon bits. Bacon and chocolate don't go together. Try it, Rebecca. You'll love it. We're going to bake these until they're golden brown. Ooh, look at those. And they're just going to pull apart with melty chocolate and bacon on the inside. Oh, yeah. But the taste test is the most important part. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Lunchbox reviews with me and Roscoe. We've got stuffed peppers, a big old salad, a big old sandwich, some dressing, some eggs, some pudding. 10 out of 10. These are some snacks that people sleep on that they really shouldn't. Wait a minute. Shouldn't you be listing snacks that people should be sleeping on? But imagine that list is much smaller. It can't be comfortable to sleep on snacks. And I'm guessing it certainly doesn't increase its flavor profile. Except maybe beef jerky. You're not going to ruin the flavor. You're not going to ruin the consistency. You may just warm up the meat. Lunchbox reviews! Here we go! We've got lettuce or cabbage or some sort of greens and an egg sandwich, both figuratively and literally. There's probably eggs on top. And an egg flower right there. A couple of them. Those are beautiful. And a couple other egg flowers to go with that. That's just one of the boxes. In the other boxes, we're going to slice out. Could be a pickle, could be a cucumber. I think it's a cucumber. We've got some tomatoes. We've got some carrots and a couple other of those eggies because they look cute. And we're going to sprinkle on some green things. I don't know what it is. Could be thyme, could be parsley. Who knows? Nose. Ooh, that looks like a cookie and an orange. I love this already. I don't know what that is. Is it pudding? Whatever it is, I would smash. And I think that's the lunchbox. 8.9 out of 10. <laughs> lunchbox reviews from the madhouse. Here we go. A filet of fish sandwich with googly eyes. Crunched up chips. You know his hands are greasy. A can of tuna. More fish in that than the filet. A sucker. Some whipped cream, which goes together with tuna like escargot and ice cream. Some Splenda. Some cookies. Wait, what's that brown thing? Lunchbox reviews. Here we go. We've got rice in the shape of a bear. It's not a bear. It's real Akuma bear. I don't give two hoots and a scoot. I think that's tofu. Could be chicken. Cute little sandwiches, some bread, some cheese. 9.3. <laughs> Today I'm making mashed potatoes out of Lay's potato chips. Oh, no, 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 no. Today you're going to jail. Lunchbox reviews. Here we go. We've got rice into the shape of a bunny mold, and bunnies are close to my heart. I went to Omaha Benson High School, the home of the bunnies. Don't laugh. You wouldn't want to mess with a rabid bunny. That's pretty scary. We got steak and pico. Pico for the Chico. The name's the Chico. The old ones will get it. We've got avocado, tuna, and maters. Uh, unlikely combo there, but it looks delicious. Finish it with a Claire's 9.7. <laughs> Lunchbox reviews. Here we go with Be Magnificent, where you can see the smile from a country mile. She's going to be browning up the meat today, and what could she making for kiddos? Because she knows she makes her lunch for her kiddos. She's got lettuce. She's cleaning out the lettuce. Could she also chop this lettuce up? I think she is right now. Chopping up the lettuce. We've got meat. We've got lettuce. What could be next? Let's see. Hmm. She's going to pour the lettuce into the bowl. We know that's next. But after that, some water into the beef and some taco seasoning. I think I know where this is going. Taco salad. Add in some Doritos and oh my goodness, chef's kiss. There we go. Chef's kiss. Ranch on top, and you're bringing back memories for Fat Daddy. We've got uh, Doritos. She's chopping up. She's going to put those in the salad there for the kiddos. Uh, don't look like they're adding any ranch, but she's going to crunch it up, mix it up. Oh, we got cheese on top. Nostalgia inducing. 10 out of 10. Massage guns are for muscles. Nothing else. Mom! But why did you lie, though? If you aren't splitting your hot dog... Wait a minute. So now we're splitting glizzies? Nobody gave me the memo. I wasn't made aware of the change.
That brings us to the end. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified the next time we have more videos just like this one coming up.